What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to Psychologically Gaming. Today we're going to be diving into Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. So my review of Guardians of the Galaxy will be coming out Wednesday of next week. I'm so excited about that review because this was such an unexpected game that I did not think I would love. I, I did not think I would love this game at all whatsoever. And just last night I saw Guardians of the Galaxy 1 for the very first time. I know, I know, I'm late to the game. But let's get into the psychology of Rocket. Rocket is my spirit animal. He is by far, besides Besides Groot, my favorite character of Guardians of the Galaxy. Peter Quill, he's just, he, he's a, he's a character. He's a, he's a character that makes me cringe sometimes. And Gamora? Gamora is just badass. I mean, look at her hair and look at her smile and look at the way that she fights everything. I just, I could talk about Gamora forever. And Drax, please don't even get me started on Drax. The way he takes everything literally, me though. Seriously, me. I take everything literally. I take everything for face value. It's why whenever I'm on Twitter, I am so bad at telling tone. Like I can't tell tone for the life of me. I can't tell tone if someone's being sarcastic, if someone's being serious, if they're joking. Like sometimes they really have to get it across to me that either something was a joke or if it's serious because I can't tell the difference. Rocket is a hot-tempered mercenary and he's also the cutest little thing I've ever seen. And it's true. So one thing I found that was really interesting, the more that I dug into who Rocket's character basically is, that he came from the planet Halfwood in the Keystone Quadrant, an abandoned colony for the mentally ill, where the animal companions were genetically manipulated to grant them human-level intelligence and bipedal body construction for many to become the caretakers of the inmates this this is wild to me like this is so freaking cool the way that his character was developed a co like a, an abandoned colony for the mentally it, like this is right in my alley i was never really a marvel fan before just to preface this okay i was more of a dc fan basically because of batman and joker and now that i look at more of what marvel has to offer i can say without a doubt and this might be a hot take but marvel is way better than dc but here's our first point the fact that he came from a planet the fact that he was basically a caretaker an animal caretaker for the mentally ill it kind of goes back to what support animals are I would also say that Rocket has some form of PTSD because when you look at his interaction with water, uh, because it's stated in one of the articles that I read and in the game, if I remember correctly, that there were tests that were performed on Rocket of where he was submerged in tubes of water for sensory deprivation purposes. So you definitely have instances of where, uh, for example, in the game, you have to dismantle the entire um, rock face of uh of a, a location so you can move on to the next section. I forget what the actual term for it was, but um, you have to dismantle something. And the only way to do that was for Rocket to go underneath the waterfall into an area of where he could dislodge and discombobulate and explode everything. So um, doing that was a test of Rocket's true appreciation for the Guardians, for the people he now calls friends, and was a push of his own will because he doesn't like water. He doesn't want to be near water. There was an entire section basically of where you had to maneuver a, water, a waterfall around to another area so Rocket could peacefully walk through. So PTSD is very, very heavy with this character. I feel like the one that I believe Rocket has is complex PTSD, or as most of you guys know, it's CPTSD. He is very complex in nature and a lot of, excuse me, a lot of the trauma that he went through, it wasn't just one and done of where, oh, he was traumatized and then he could heal. No, it was over and over repetitive traumatization by the Kree and their experiments. That is it for today's episode of Psychologically Gaming on Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every day here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, dear hunter. Stay casually nerdy and I will see you all in the next video. Yo, Mbasa.